Today, I'll be making meatloaf. It's a family favorite. A lot of my nephew and nieces love eating this meatloaf. So I'll show you how it's done and it's, it's easy. My ingredients are ground beef, three slices of white bread, four eggs, one small onions, I got salt, sage, and black pepper. I'll use this later as I put the meatloaf in, in the loaf uh, pan. So first, I will slice the onions. Doesn't really matter how you slice the onion, as long as you slice it um, thin and not big uh, pieces, that you'll be okay. So I'll slice the bread. Now, normally, other recipes they'll use breadcrumbs, but I like to use white bread. I've been using this um, recipe or cooking this recipe for the last 20 years and it's really a hit amongst friends and family and just people love it so it's very very easy to make okay now we'll crack the eggs A black pepper, you don't want to put too much, you just a pinch. So I'm just going to sprinkle a couple times and that's good enough. Sage, it's one teaspoon. By the way, the this recipe, um, I made it where we can make two loaf. I think it's um, better to cook two loaf since we're using the oven, you know, it's versus cooking only one. So two loaves, I, to me, is it's better. Either you can give away to give away to your neighbor or your friends or you, whoever likes this loaf. I believe that my nephew Daniel loves this. Loaf. Even my daughter's friend Jasmine likes it too. Now, for the salt, we want to do about one teaspoon and a half. Okay, one thing I forgot to add in this recipe here is the milk. It's very important. So we, um, per loaf, you get um, three quarter cup. So since we got two loaf in this recipe, we'll use three half a cup. One, two, and three. Okay, well, let's mix it. 
on mixing this, you don't want to over mix. It's enough that um, all the ingredients is incorporated. Because if you um, mix it too much, the bread will just fall apart. So you want the bread to hold its form as possible. I think that's good enough. You mix it into the ground beef. Okay, we'll mix it. Okay, we don't want to over mix this, so I think that's good right here. Okay, we are ready to put it in a loft pan. We'll spray a non-stick um, spray. You want to form the mixture in the pan like so. So there you go. It's ready to put in the now it's ready to put in the oven. My oven is uh is already set at 350. It's gonna be about 45 minutes to an hour. You wanna check it at 45 and see if it's cooked or not. We're waiting for the meatloaf to uh, to be cooked. We'll mix the topping for the meatloaf. So the ingredients are brown sugar, yellow mustard, and ketchup. That's it. So let's mix it. Now I don't have any recipe for this or how much we should use uh, since we have two loaves. So just have an idea how much you need to spread all uh, on top the meatloaves. So I got ketchup. Yellow mustard. And brown sugar. So you want to mix it. So if you want the ketchup to the flavor of the ketchup stand out, obviously you want to put more ketchup. If you want it more um, 
sweet and you can put more sugar. And the mustard, you can't really go wrong with the mustard. You can add more or less. It's not really there to for the flavor, but it's to balance it out between the ketchup and the sugar. Okay, the meatloaf is done. For me, I I drain the oil. Some people don't because it's more flavor for me. I drain the oil. I guess you could call it the healthier version of the meatloaf. If you take out the oil. So you see how many oil has been taken out. Okay, I don't want to take out all of it, but majority of it is taken out. Okay, we're gonna add the uh, topping, a mixture that I uh, showed earlier. Here it is, it's just simple as this, just spread it out. So there you go, my meatloaf recipe, I call it holiday meatloaf.